Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you with the full release version of Mice T. That's right, all the latest, all the latest release content is here for you and uh, for us to just sift through and me for uh, me to edit to make it more a little bit more you know digestible for YouTube's algorithm. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. So maybe I should look at your cheapest bulk tea. I thought I could do something like I don't know a tea bath. Like we stick you in a mug with a steeping tea bag? Yeah, I know they do tea baths at spas and stuff, but this way it'll, this way will be cheaper and even more even more concentrated. They really do that at spas? Never heard of that. Gavin, you're a guy. I'd be surprised if you could name half the things you can get at a spa. Sure I can. Massage, bath, and facial. The three things that happen at spas. Oh darn, I guess I underestimated you. So what do you think? He looks around to see what he looks around to see what Peggy can hang his excuse on. Uh, let's see. I don't know where you'd have the privacy for me and the customers. Gavin! You know I get what I want, right? Yeah, I know. It's actually not a big deal. I can set up a shelf in the back and use a binder as a screen. Actually gives me a good chance to use something I never have. This company sent along this gadget to keep tea warm. It's like a cup and saucer set, but the saucer is an electric heater. They gave it to me for free, so I'd order some to sell in the store, but I thought it was kind of, kind of a dumb idea. Finally have, a, finally have a legitimate use for it. What flavor would you like? Oh, hmm. Maybe a nice chamomile would make sense. Do you have a bag of Hastings? Sure, I can grab that. Great, put it on my tab. Margaret, I keep telling you that you don't have to have, you don't have, to have a tab here. Yeah, but it's fun to say. Gavin smiles and heads into the back room where I hear him clatter around with some boxes and cups. After confirming the absence of customers, he returns and leans down to retrieve, retrieve me from the shelf. Ladies first. I hop onto his palm and ride to the back room where he set up a station with the cup. The cup warmer, some hand towels, and my phone. It's been steeping for a minute. I started off at only 158 degrees, so it wouldn't scald you, but it might give you. But I might give it a bit longer. The cup's set to an even 100 degrees, so you can press the buttons on the saucer to adjust it if you'd like. Thanks. I hop off as he sees me next to his handiwork. Drop the towel to the floor, so I'll know when you're done. A small wave, he disappears back onto the store floor. Once I hear him stop in front of the counter, I hear him, I turn my dress off as quickly as I can. Thank God, I thought I was going to have to wear that thing all day. I peer down into the hot tub-sized cup. The chamomile has only started seeping, but the smell is already electrifying. As impatient as I was to get out of my dress, I wait a few moments for the tea to cool. Once I can bear, once I bear, can bear to keep my finger in, I swing my legs over the rim. Oh, wow. Hello there, YouTube. I'm going to have to, yeah, maybe edit that a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe not. Nothing's actually, you know... I've seen thumbnails that are about this, this spicy on YouTube, so... I suck a clipped breath between my teeth as my skin acclimatizes to the tea. With one great exhale, I lower myself until I'm immersed to my neck. For a moment, I remain there, my arms limp at my side and my knees pressed to my chest. My tail nestles into the circumference of the cup, forming a halo and forming a halo beneath me. I've never felt so weightless in my life! With a deep sigh, I lean back and drape my arms around the rim of the cup. I tilt my head back and breathe in the steam rising from the tea. As I inhale, I feel the tea's essence tickle the inside of my snout. It's grassy and floral, earthy without feeling dirty. It's a faint echo of the tea that made me capable of this bath. Hastings is, a good, is as good as enough brand that I can sense a tart, apple-like sweetness to the aroma. But instead of being sticky, the tea is remarkably clear. It feels lighter than any bath I've ever taken. Every bath bomb and bubble solution comes across heavy and slick compared to the bright clarity of the chamomile. Mmm, good call by me. I place the tea bag behind the lower back as a sort of pillow and lean into it to release more of its contents into the water. I'm rewarded with even more of the tea's calming floral bouquet. I wonder if Gavin would let me do this back at his place. I hold my breath and dunk my whole body into the surface to let the tea, to let the tea seep into my hair. Dense as it is, I give it a few, good, a few seconds to seep the whole way through. I emerge and feel the tea stream down my hair as it drapes over my shoulders. After a few deep breaths, I focus on releasing the last few remnants of tension in my body. One of the most stubborn... One of the most stubborn is around the base of my tail. It seems like a betrayal of sorts to allow it to relax, but I will, but I will, but I will myself to let go of the stress inside it. One second, y'all. It is uh, shake time. Fruit shake. Hmm. That is delicious. All right. At last, I'm fully relaxed. The tea cradles my body with just enough buoyancy to keep me from sitting directly on the bottom of the cup. My toe grazes the edge of the cup just enough to keep me upright as I float just below the surface. Most of me, that is. Part of it is definitely how I position myself on the rim, but more of me is breaking the tea surface than normal. At least this is keeping the weight off my chest. 
I reached down to touch my hips, the most benign addition to my anatomy by my reckoning. The fur covering its sways, suspending the tea and ebbing gently in the subtle currents. Still a waste. And brave enough to cup one breast from the elb from below. It tingles more than it should, even considering all the fur I'm touching. My arousal spikes and I retract my hand. For a moment, it seems like I'll just be riled, as riled up as yesterday, but after a few agonizing seconds, calm restores itself. Crap, I really can't do anything, can I? I sigh and sink down a little more into the tea. It's like half my body is covered in landmines. Not that I spend my time during the... Not that I spend my time during the few baths I take filling myself up, but it's still stifling to be barred from touching my own body. I resign myself to draping my wrists on the rim and regain most of the relaxation I'd achieved earlier. I remain silent there for some time, listening to the muffled sounds of Gavin interacting with customers on the shop floor. I manage to avoid overhearing as best I can. Tea and constant warm temperature allow me to cocoon myself in a timeless tranquility. A calm and peace greater than anything I've experienced in months make, makes me forget almost all the things troubling me, until I hear a familiar voice. Hey, Gaboo! You didn't you didn't get me back about my you didn't get me back about that job. Wait, is that Julie? Oh yeah, right. Was that two days ago? That's when you talked to me last. I texted you yesterday. Follow up is the best way to impress prospective prospective bosses. They say, especially when you know you can guilt trip them into using their mutual friend. Oh yeah, sorry. I actually had to close the shop yesterday, so I wasn't dealing with that sort of thing. What happened? Uh, just a family thing. Oh god, family can be the worst. But now that you have the store open, you definitely need my help, right? I can hear him fidget from all the way in the storage. Well, well, it's uh, kind of a weird time of the month with budgets. Oh, I don't mind if you pay me under the table for a little bit. Crap. I, I don't know if Julie's gonna, gonna leave Gavin alone. It's uh, not quite that kind of issue. Come on, you're not gonna make me drag Margaret in here to berate you, are you? Gavin pauses, unsure how to word his next question. Have you, uh, talked with her recently? Like, texted her? Nah, I figured I'd run into her soon anyway. I'm actually really surprised I didn't run into her last night. But I was going to surprise her with this job anyway. Now she'll have an even better reason to visit. That might not actually be great for her budget. Well, I'll go ahead and ask her then. Wait, is she going to text me? My phone's right here. Did I silence it? For a few agonizing seconds, Julie types out a message to me. It must be even worse for Gavin. There, now she knows to, gi now she knows to give you a hard time. My phone doesn't buzz next to me. I sink back down to the teacup in relief. Listen, you have the job, okay? It's all yours. You don't have to interview or anything. I just need a week to take care of some stuff first. Can you give me that? Can you give me that much time? The silence that fills the room store seems to go on forever. Fine. But you have to give me the employee discount starting now, okay? Sure, you know what? Fine. What do you want to get? Oh, uh, I don't really have the cash to buy anything. I probably should have come up with a better bargaining chip. Anyway, I'll see you around, okay? I hear her patter over to the door and the chime rings as she leaves. Gavin and I exhale at the same time. Well, I'm not going to be able to relax after that. I heft myself into a standing position and wait for my top half to drip out. It doesn't finish after a few seconds. I realize I have to wring out my fur myself and swipe my hands across all the parts of me I can stand I can stand to touch. After hopping out of the out of the cup and hitting the saucer's off butt with my heel, I wrap myself in one of the several towels Gavin left for me. I'm already dressed when he comes to check on me. One second, L. It is... Check time. Hmm. Oh, damn, that's good. Oh, yeah. Want to ride back to the front? Please? He carries me back to the counter and sets me on the countertop this time. That was the bath! Amazing! I'm gonna do one every day until I turn back. I stand there. I stand there oblivious to what I just said. Oh, which means I'll never do it again, ideally. I thought you for being optimistic, but turning back tonight might be asking a lot. You did sort of give us a deadline just now. Gavin deflates. Yeah, sorry about that. Just you, She just kept press, pressing me about it. I kind of figured that's how long we could be away with, with hiding you from everyone anyway. No, I know how persistent she can be. Do you think we might want to bring her in on this? He grimaces. She's your friend, but I get the feeling she's not the most, uh, discreet. Yeah, she's kind of impulsive. But she's li really loyal. I I'm sure she'd want to help if she can. It might even give you a chance to work without having to carry me everywhere and worry about me. I can tell the idea entices him. It's not a bad point. Maybe you could even stay at your place. Though, if we can get away with turning you back before anyone before anyone else knows, that seems ideal. It's your decision, of course. I look below my feet to where I for a text from Julie waits. I'll think about it. Take me back to my little fort? Yeah, we should be more careful about customers coming in. He picks me up and sets me down in my hovel. 
resumed my routine from before and I started another series on my phone. I'm definitely more relaxed after the bath, though a little more frustrated with how the dress sits on me. The last few hours speed by with a few more customers and a few more chats with Gavin. It's already dark by the time he closes up shop. He stuffs my belongings back into his bag and me into his pocket. The ride back to his apartment provides me with a few more chances to peek out and see things from my new vantage point. Long journey back, okay. I'm almost sad to leave his pocket once we get back to his place. His body heat provides some comforting protection against the chilly night air. See? Taking me with you isn't so bad, was it? No, you were right. It was nice having the company, too. I know I missed having friends to talk to while I worked, but I don't think I knew just how much until today. You mean since Ursula and Miguel left? Oh, uh, yeah. Have you been having a tough time? He coughs and looks away. Oh, sure. Uh, I told you it's a little tougher managing things by myself since they left. I can tell he doesn't want to elaborate on it, and I don't want to exp expend one of my demands on what might be a sore subject. <laughs> oh, uh, should I tell you about the latest stuff I found out with the tea? Sure. Okay, so I still can't read Japanese, and even if I could, the font they use is really hard to read. Promising start? Which means it's probably not the best idea to try and start at the beginning and go from there. So I've been kind of cherry-picking parts of the label. I'm uh, pretty sure the long part is instructions. The beginning has a lot of words you'd expect, like temperature and time. I skip to the end, hoping it's part on how to reverse things. What does it say? Like I said, like I said, I'm not sure, but at least it has the word meditate in there. It also read sleep, though that hasn't helped you so far. And the tea, and the tea seems to get you worked up, right? Like into quasi manias. Uh, basically, yeah. So it seems like meditation would be the inverse of that. That sounds intuitive. It's the best lead we have so far, and if nothing else, it, it'll probably be a good idea for you to center yourself when you're like this. Might help you feel more like yourself. That's probably true. The tea bath was pretty good at relaxing me, but I can't spend all my time in one of those. A at least not without risking you ribbing me, or ribbing me about it. I don't know, the way you described it makes me feel I'd be tempted too. Do you think you'd want to try that now? I could fix dinner or something first. As much as I appreciate the food you prepared, I'd rather have the chance to be human again. Understandable. As long as I remember, it's only a chance. Yeah, I promise not to get too excited. I'll grab some clothes for you to change if you change into if you turn back. Probably got a t-shirt big enough to cover all of you. He goes to his room, pulls out a ratty sleep shirt, and sets it on the desk. Want me, want me out here or in my room? Probably out here in case I need any help. I'll undress behind the screen again. One second, y'all. It is indeed shake time. Ah, only got a little bit that time, that's fine. I read something on the ca- I'll read something on the couch then, so you'll have some silence. Okay, I'll let you know when I'm done. Sounds good, and uh, I really hope this fixes things. I feel like you could use a break for once, and I hope you can get back to normal. He gives a hesitant smile. Me too, and thanks. He flashes a little salute and heads over to his couch. It's more time out of this dress, at least. I pull the dress off and toss it on the doll bed. As I stand there naked, I realize I could have asked if he had any tips for how to meditate. I guess I should... I guess I just try not to think about stuff. Or maybe sort of not think about what I'm thinking about. I'll just try to be mindful. I find a place for my hands to rest that won't ignite anything in me. Then I simply stay still. Nothing happens for some time, which is what I, which was what I expected. Thoughts of last night, the tea bath, Julie's visit, and the commute to and from the store drift past my field of thought. It feels unfair to experience so many novel things in such a short span of... such a short span and not be allowed to fixate on them. You can unpack everything later, just concentrate on clearing your mind. I don't quite brush my thoughts away, but I do wait impatiently for them to vacate my mind. The annoyance I feel at their persistence is likely antithetical to my purposes, but I'm learning as I go. For a moment, it seems I've successfully outlasted my thoughts, and I'm left blank with a I'm left with a blank void in my mind. That's when a new set of thoughts encroach on my consciousness. Sex scene notice con content notice. The scene contains imagined sexual encounters and sorrow oh my goodness. No, we're not going to do that in this run. That would be for me to experience on my own. Because, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll skip that. Margaret starts having sexual urges like she did the previous day. Again, she almost masturbates but stops herself. As I stare at my trembling fingers, I feel my arousal ebb. I keep my shoulders locked. I'm afraid the smallest movement will make me relapse. It takes longer than it took to get worked up, but I finally relax back to my usual self of, st usual self of stress. I let my arms hang dejected by my side. Defeated, I step into the dress and pull it up over my hips and shoulders. It fits just as well as it did before, which means it's just the right size while still feeling all wrong. I tiptoe up from behind the screen. Hey, I think I'm finished! He rises from his couch and walks up to the desk. 
So, looks like the dress still fits. Yeah. We each stand there for a moment. Well, the meditation guess was just that, a guess. Uh, could need to translate the box some more to see if there's extra steps. You might need to use the tea to get into some kind of transformative state when then, then you meditate. Maybe. Though, I kind of think we haven't quite exhausted your theory yet. But why's that? I don't think I actually meditated, not really at least. Think you need some tips or something? We could try to find some videos of guided meditation. No, it's more that I really couldn't get in the right mode. Like you couldn't relax? Pretty much. It was just so hard when my mind is occupied by so many other thoughts. Mouse instincts kicked in? No, it was just- it wasn't those necessarily. My insides feel like they're being strangled. So, so we're friends, right? Of course. Maybe even close to best friends? Definitely. So you promise not to judge me even if I say something super embarrassing? I promise. I have to hold on to myself to keep from shaking so I can speak. I couldn't concentrate on meditating because I was too... aroused. Oh. I feel like I've shrunk another two inches. Is that another side effect of the tea? It must be. Whenever I'm not indulging my instincts, it seems to creep into my thoughts. There's already been a couple times where I almost started, you know, doing something about it. I've never felt so spontaneously aroused before. I, I feel like it's going to drive me nuts. If the tea's really affecting you that much, you can, uh, take care of that, and I can leave you alone if you need to. I don't want to, though. I don't want to be horny when I'm like this. Oh. And apparently the alarm chan has had enough of the horniness as well. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks, or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.